everybody. So a friend of mine used to work for Rolls-Royce and it turns out that Rolls-Royce car engines, the rear axles, last forever. And the management wanted to know why, so they set my friend the task of finding out why it is that Rolls-Royce rear axles never break. Well, he had a look at it and he decided that when a car starts, there's the wheel on the ground, there's the axle with the engine, it races ahead and the wheel lags because of the mass of the car. Then it catches up but goes a little further forward and then we get this twisting going on all the time in rear axles. So he built a machine to replicate that twisting and prove that in fact, Rolls-Royce axles do last a lot longer than anybody else's axle. Now, have you ever seen the surface of a piece of metal under a microscope? It looks like this. It looks like a whole load of valleys and mountains. And when it's twisting like that, cracks begin to form at the point of stress, most stress. Turns out it's in one of those valleys and that's why axles fail because the stresses start to increase the depth of that crack and they snap. And for years what Rolls-Royce had been doing was mirror finishing their axles. A Rolls-Royce rear axle is in fact a thing of beauty and you can comb your hair in it. The standard axle is lathe finished and it looks smooth but it's anything but smooth. When you look at a Rolls-Royce axle it's much much smoother and because it's much smoother as it's doing that twisting mechanism there's no point for the stress crack to start so the stresses are more evenly spread along the axle and the axle lasts longer. Now, although that's a fascinating story, you've got to ask yourself, well, why bother telling us that? And I want to tell you that because of another friend of mine and Teacut. So I turned to Tinkercad for this. It's just a bevel gear. Now we have a look at it when it's put together. What happens is we rotate this gear, it idles that gear and rotates that one in the opposite direction. So we've got two outputs here, a central pin and an external output. The central pin turns in line with that handle and the other one turns in the opposite direction. Now that's very useful because a lot of people have been suggesting, particularly in axial flux generators, that we could have two plates of magnets, one turning clockwise and one turning anti-clockwise, and a mechanism like that is exactly how you do it. But it's a little bit stiff. Now Mark's comment, which I thought was a comment of genius, and this is all down to Mark, is hidden in the comments section. It's uh, about comment number 100 of about 400 comments in yesterday's video, and there's another couple of thousand comments on top of that. So it's going to be difficult to find, and it's going to be lost. But it's such a genius idea that I thought I would make a video on it to share Mark's idea with everybody, because it's awesome. And it fits right in with what I was saying about Rolls-Royce. Cracks and stresses form when a surface is uneven. And of course, these surfaces here, well, they're 3D printed, so <laughs> they're more lumpy than the Himalayas. And they are stiff, and they do catch, and they do rattle, and they make an awful lot of noise. What Mark said to do was apply some T-cut to the gear teeth and the place where you want them to pass between each other. So a little bit of T-cut a little bit on there and a little bit on the gear teeth and then we give them a spin. Oh, I washed all the teacup off by giving it a swill in a bucket of water and I put a little bit of silicon oil on it. We give it a spin. Oh, I put these two flags so you see the contra rotation. Give it a spin then we can see that actually that's a much smoother turn and it's much quieter. So I didn't want Mark's idea to get lost because it was a brilliant suggestion. He says he does it on kinetic sculptures that he makes and it reduces the wind power needed to drive the sculpture by about 50%. That's pretty impressive. So it's really easy. You put your thing together, take a bit of teeth cut, put it on the teeth, spin it till it feels smooth, wash it and you're away to go. It's a brilliant tip for 3D printing, but I can see that working for machine gears as well because you're Effectively, polishing the teeth of the gear and using the mechanism to do its own polishing. It's very neat indeed, I loved it. But I wanted to share it because I wanted to make sure that it didn't get lost. So we really all should thank Mark for that genius idea because that's going to improve the stuff that we make and I really wanted to share it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's helpful. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.